In this video we're going to be taking a look at a personal narrative and we're going to be looking at the characteristics and also the organization of a personal narrative piece. Now what you will need to do is get out your practice companion book and turn to page 84. You also need to have your writing journal out and a pencil out as well. Now in your writing journal what I want you to do is to write down what you know about a personal narrative already and also what I want you to do in is to include why a writer might choose this type of writing. So in your writing journal, write down what you already know about a personal narrative and also why a writer might choose this form of writing. And you can pause the video now and do that. Okay, now that you've written down what you already know, let's take a look at some things that you want to think about with the personal narrative. First of all, what is a personal narrative? just to refresh your memory. It's a narrative of an interesting real-life experience and it's going to be important to understand that it is a real-life experience. Also it details explain what happened in that experience and also details explain how you felt. And also the why. Why might somebody write a personal narrative? It's to share an experience that was important to you, record a memory or tell about your life, and finally publish your story and share it with others. And what I want you to do is just pause the video. I want you to write down the what behind the personal narrative and also why someone might write a personal narrative. So pause the video and write this down right in your writing journal. Now I want you to turn to page 84 in your practice companion book and I want you to take a look at the writing model, Meeting Karam. And I want you to pause the video, read through Meeting Karam and also answer these five questions that I have right up on the screen in your writing journal. And we'll talk about these questions and the answers to these questions in class. So pause the video and you'll read Meeting Karam and answer these five questions. So pause the video now. Now let's take a look at the characteristics of a personal narrative. Now you can see this from already reading Meeting Quran, but let's take a look at some of the characteristics or some of the ingredients that you'll need to include in your personal narrative piece. First of all, it tells about something real that happened to the writer. So you want to start thinking about something that's important to you, something that's real, that actually happened. You're not talking about a time where you grew wings and flew out to another city to rescue some one else okay this is something that's real that happened and you want to include details that tell how you felt as a writer make sure it has a beginning middle and an end tells why that experience was special to the writer and also uses the pronoun I so you are the narrator within your story as well so I want you to write down these five characteristics of a personal narrative in your, in your writing journal so you can refer back to them as you're writing your piece now the organizational part of a personal narrative will be the next thing that we'll look at as you can see on the screen so it's very important that your personal narrative piece is organized and how it's going to be organized is the events in a personal narrative are usually told in the order in which they happen we're not going to take a look at flashbacks and we're not going to implement that or put that in our writing piece at all but taking a look at meeting Karam I want you to answer these three questions so meeting Karam is on page 84 of your writing journal and what happens in the beginning of this narrative what happens in the middle of this narrative and also how does the narrative end and I want you to answer these three questions in your writing journal and then we'll talk about these questions in class today as far as the different parts in the organization of your personal narrative. So pause the video and answer these questions. Okay, now as you come to class today, you're going to be having a job just like every writing class. So you're going to be thinking about the purposes and audiences for your a personal narrative. So start thinking about that. We'll talk about that in class. You want to think of ideas and any questions that you may have about a personal narrative. And also within your group, you're going to be working with um, people in your group to summarize your ideas in your writing journal and just kind of bounce ideas off of each other. So this concludes the introduction video on a personal narrative. If you have, if you have any questions about this concept, please come and see me.